back to my channel. I'm Brianna and for today's video I decided I'm just gonna talk. I've never really sat down and formally like talked to you guys. I've actually noticed I've never formally introduced myself to you guys. I've also never really told you anything about myself. Like you guys have just seen some videos that I posted and you don't really know much about me which I think is wrong and I should tell you more about me. First thing that I want you to know about me is that I am so in love with the world. What opened my eyes to this was actually an event that I went to today, which was like a festival where there were booths from like so many different places in this world in like different countries like all over the world and like it was so amazing I got to dress up in this really beautiful like gown type thing um and then I got to wear a hi hijab and it was just really fun to experience that and that entire time we saw like really traditional dances from so many different cultures and we just tried so many different foods and like met so many different people and everyone was so incredibly nice. I cannot, I cannot tell you how nice everyone was. I, I'm just so in love with everyone there. So in love with different cultures. So in love with the world and traveling and all of that. I may be young, but I have still traveled to a lot of places and I'm really thankful and fortunate to have been able to travel to these places. Traveling is something that I want to continue to do in the future, um, and I will never get bored of traveling. There's so many places that I want to go to and travel to, and I just, I love traveling. Second thing about me, I have a really huge family. I'm actually Romanian, and Romanians tend to have pretty big families. I also speak a little bit of Romanian. I understand like basically all of it and I speak a little bit of it. Not like the best at it. Third thing about me is that I actually can do a lot of different impersonations and accents and acting. Things of that sort are very big to me. I love to do that. It's a hobby of mine. I'm actually in a theater class at my school. So it's just always interested me from a really young age also has been interesting to me from a really young age. I remember the first video I saw was like that Charlie Unicorn video and I that's when I fell in love with YouTube basically. My friend and I would always sit around and like watch these really funny videos and we would just like crack up and like we just fell in love with YouTube and then the older I got like I discovered different YouTubers and different videos that I liked and I realized that I wanted to be a YouTuber. Ever since I was really young, I would always get the video camera and I would always videotape myself, even though it's like not good at all and I looked horrible. So you, well, I'm from the for me to start showing you around. Come on, this is my mom's camera. Well. I guess we have to talk later. See you soon. And <laughs> it was so close every time and like I didn't know what I was doing but the camera always interested me. Like I love taking pictures, I'm very photogenic even now. Like modeling is something that I would love to do in the future. Not as like a professional model but to model every now and then would be really awesome really passionate about YouTube and I feel like there are some YouTubers out there who don't find a passion for it. They were just bored one night and were like, hey, let's make a YouTube video. And then they did and they find it really fun and they don't really think like that's the only thing that they want to do. It's just kind of like more of a hobby. To me, YouTubing is a passion of mine. I've always wanted to YouTube for like the past two years I've wanted to be a YouTuber and my goal is to try and impact the world somehow. It doesn't have to be this huge amazing impact, like just knowing that there are people who watch my videos who like them and who may be going through a rough time and can sit down and watch my videos and feel better 
would just be like the best reward of all time. I've always loved to help people and I feel like YouTube is kind of a way to do that and I'm actually shaking for some reason talking about this. I've never really sat down and totally like completely poured my ha heart, can't talk. <laughs> I've never like sat down and poured my heart out about YouTube and my passion for it and like my goals with it and everything. I just want to try and help as many people out as I can. I want people to watch my videos and feel better and feel happy and feel more confident and feel like so great. I just, I don't know because I know I watch so many YouTubers who do that to me and a lot of YouTubers have helped me find myself in certain ways and I just want to have that impact on people too because I know how amazing it felt for me and I just want to know that so many people out there feel that way because of me like that would just be the greatest thing that I could ever be given. That was a little ramble about YouTube but I'm very passionate about YouTube and it's just something important to me. It's I'm happy that I started a YouTube channel. Another thing about me, I used to be an introvert and I used to be really shy and hated meeting new people and talking to new people and I was really insecure and very, you know, like I didn't like how I looked and I don't really blame myself for that. <laughs> I always had like an outgoing personality. I just never liked showing it and I've completely transformed into this different person. Like I'm not different but like I'm an extrovert now and I like public speaking when I hated it when I was younger and I love meeting new people and I just I love traveling and I love so many things about the world that I really didn't when I was younger because like you're young and you don't really care but now I just I love it so much really interests me and another thing that I wanted to hit on really quick was actually about confidence um I'm a big believer that you should have so much confidence in yourself and that you should love yourself beyond belief like you should love yourself more than anyone else in this entire world um I've struggled with that. I There was a long period in my life when I really didn't love myself like I should have. And even today, there are some days where I find myself like kind of having an off day and not really loving myself as much as I should or could. It's really hard to be 100% in love with yourself when the media portrays like this idea of perfection and like how you're supposed to look because I know because of social media I've compared myself to a lot of other girls like oh I want to look like her like I want to work up to my goal of working out and whatever to look like this girl so I can be skinny like her and so that I can you know be pretty like her and whatever I've always compared myself and been like why do they look so good and then there's me like I never had the confidence and I never 100% love myself and I know it's really hard to love yourself 100%. Um, I feel like that's almost impossible because you always find something you don't like about yourself and that you're insecure about and it's a flaw and you personally don't like it but I can bet you so much money that there's so many people out there who love your flaws and who love everything about you. If you have confidence, it makes you 10 million times more attractive and I'm not saying if you don't have confidence you're not attractive but you're typically attracted to someone who portrays that they have confidence. I never had that and I just recently started to. I started working out, I started going living up to the goal that I really wanted to reach ever since I was really young because I was really overweight when I was little and not even going to lie, I hated myself just because of how I looked and my teeth were crooked and I had glasses and I just, I felt like I wasn't attractive and you know, being younger I feel like it was easier as if I felt that way now because of social media and like I'm older now but when you're younger you don't necessarily care about how you look all the time. But the 
older you get, you become more self-aware, self-conscious of like how you look. And it makes me so sad when I see girls who don't have confidence or who are like, oh, I'm so ugly and like, it makes me so sad to know that there's so many girls out there who aren't confident in themselves and I feel like you shouldn't compare yourself to anyone. I feel like you should love yourself completely how you are and I know it's easier said than it's, it is done. Um, I know I have a friend who actually struggles with that and I've been trying to tell her on like a daily basis like how beautiful she is and how amazing she is and that she should love herself so much because she sees herself in completely different eyes than I see her and you are your own worst critic and you always see yourself bigger or I don't know like you you're the one who notices that pimple on your cheek, but I bet nobody else notices unless you point it out. I think you notice so many things about yourself and no one else ever notices it. I, rem I know that there's some days when I walk around and I'll be like sitting at a desk and I feel like my stomach is bulging out and I feel like I look so weird and I feel like I'm hunched back and I feel like when I walk, I like waddle because my thighs are just so huge and like they rub against each other and like I walk weird and you know, I think all of these things about myself but then I realize like nobody else thinks that. And I've asked like multiple people like, do you think I walk weird? And they're like, no, not at all, you walk like a human. Like a regular person and I've always thought I walked really weird and I always thought that I just, you know, looked really weird and you know, like it's hard to go throughout your day knowing you don't feel beautiful. Like if you don't feel gorgeous and like just so amazingly beautiful then your day typically doesn't go great because the one thing to having a great day is typically to feeling great in your own skin and being confident in who you are and I know I'm rambling on so many random things I just I'm trying to get to the point that you are absolutely beautiful the way you are and if there's something you don't like about yourself that you cannot change that you cannot control like if you don't like how your fingers look you can't get finger surgery to get new ones like these are the hands you're stuck with and you need to learn to love that because you're stuck with those hands the rest of your life if you don't like the weight you're at then by all means like work to a goal start exercising start eating healthier if you're not happy where you're at you can always be happy you can always get to that point where you'll be happy with who you are. I just suggest that you love yourself no matter what and you learn to be confident in your own skin and you learn to be confident in yourself no matter how you look. If you're not necessarily happy with where you're at now, then it's okay. Just work to get to where you want to be. It'll happen. Just set a goal for yourself. Life is about goal setting and if you do that, that's great. But don't forget to love yourself for who you are right now. If this video made any sense at all, I'm sorry if I was rambling, going off topic so many different times. I apologize for that. You are so beautiful. You're loved. You're amazing. You're wonderful. And you need to start telling yourself this in the mirror every day. And if for a while it's a lie at first, soon enough it'll become the truth and you'll start to believe it and it'll, it'll become a habit and I suggest doing that because you need to love yourself so much because I feel like there's so many people who don't in this world and it's just so sad and just love yourself, you're so amazing. This video was so long, I just really wanted to get to that and I really wanted to just sit down and talk. This is like a sit down series now and this could be like sister sit down and I'll start doing more of these. Um, just like talking, you know. Um, I'll have more of these on like different topics. If you have any like recommendations, let me know. But in the meantime, my social medias are down below. Please give this video a like and subscribe. And